All right, all right, everybody. You know, this is uh, this is uh, Wagyu hunting season. I see one right there grazing in the grass. Take a look. I hope our hunting dog doesn't wake him up. Let's go. Well, what's up, Gastronomeria? We are going to be making the most expensive $300 bowl chili, and it also happens to be the best chili you'll ever have. First thing I'm gonna do is get a nice charcoal grill and put two ears of corn down on it and leave it there for a little bit. So let's get started by setting some water to a boil. While we do that, we're gonna take our, my new favorite chef's knife. This video is sponsored by Husk Knives Japan. One of the greatest knives I've ever got the chance to use. As soon as you open the package, the first thing you see is a well-crafted knife. Definitely different than other knives look. You've got complete control by putting your finger here and this little groove right here, and I can use it for camping. So we forged a bunch of vegetables and look how it rocks back and forth. It just rocks back and forth because of this curvature. It makes it so easy. That looks good. Oh, look at that. And I can use it in my kitchen That's pretty sharp. Currently, for all my viewers, Husk is running a 70% discount on their authentic Japanese inspired knife. You can test the Husk knife with a 30 day money back guarantee. The deal won't last for long, so make sure to check it out by clicking on my special link in bio. So I'm gonna take some Roma tomatoes, and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut little slits like a plus sign on each and every single one. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna make it easier to peel once I give them a nice boiling water bath for a couple minutes. Two poblano chilies, two Anaheim chilies, and we've got a jalapeno. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is get rid of that skin. So I've got a nice flame here. And I'm just gonna go, to go ahead and hold it over the flame until that skin starts kind of bubbling up. Go ahead and put it in our bowl. Close it up. That'll help the skin come off. Next chili. Let's go ahead and start with an Anaheim. So by blistering the skin, it's gonna take that skin off. So when we incorporate it into our chili, it's not gonna have that, that extra little skin that's hard to chew on. So let's add our Roma tomatoes to our boiling water. We're gonna steep them in here until it makes it a little softer and easier to peel the skin off. Because again, we're taking the skin off of everything. And start, you know what, let's turn this off for now. Let's go ahead and put these tomatoes that are splitting, oh, they're splitting really nice now. I have a feeling if I let these sit here for about five minutes, the skin's gonna come right off. I'm gonna cover these up, put them right here, with our peppers. So I actually like making my chili in a wok because it's open, open architecture. Lots of the water can evaporate. Just like that. Boom, and there we go. We have our tomatoes. We're basically just gonna start doing a very rough chop. Fingers out of the way. Rock it back and forth and done. This is all tomato juice and all the good stuff. It's gonna go right in there. Here's the Anaheims. 
Let's go ahead, cut the stems off. Very nice. So we're gonna take this stuff out of here. We don't want this. Now all this skin, we'll just take it, scrape it off this way. All the blackened skin, this comes right off. Poplanos. Same concept. Beautiful. The jalapeno. All of our chilies. We got jalapenos. We got Anaheims. We've got poblanos. We've got more jalapenos. We've got more poblanos. More poblanos and more Anaheims. So now that we scraped everything off, let's get to chopping them. Dump it right in with the tomatoes. Chili and stewed tomatoes. Get yourself a nice size onion. Move the outer layer. We got a little bit of time. We got a little espresso, I'm not gonna drink it. It's for the meal. We got a quart of beef stock. This, my friends, this is something special. Every time I cook a Wagyu steak, I save the fat and I pour it into this and keep it in the fridge. This is our Wagyu steak fat beef tallow. Our A5 Wagyu beef brisket. Ah, oh, check that out. Guys, have you seen the marbleization? on this brisket. Wow, wow. This is a brisket flat, folks. All right, let's start cutting off this fat. We don't need this extra fat here. All right, guys, I think we got it. Check that out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut little, little tiny quarter inch cubes right around there, right? Look at the interior of this thing. It's so pretty. I'm gonna save that one as my steak. You know what? Let's save two steaks. We're gonna start browning our Wagyu. We did not need any oil. Salt, the pepper, Throw them all around. We can start to take what we have here and put it onto our plate. This is the fat from Wagyu beef. We're gonna take all these onions we had, drop them in, a little bit of salt, kind of help sweat out the water. So let's put these garlics into this garlic press that we have. One, two and a half big ones. Three big ones. Nice and garlicky. Yeah. Paprika, I don't know, a lot of shakes. Like this many shakes. A nice helping of cumin. A very nice helping of cumin. How about right there? Our thyme that we had. Let's go ahead and try to get the leaves off the thyme. And now, we're gonna add about one quart of beef broth. Stir that all together, put it back in. Remember that espresso I made for myself? That's gonna go right in here. Now let it come to a little bit of a boil. At this point we're gonna add our tomatoes and all of our peppers. We're gonna go right in. Yes. And we are gonna add our Wagyu beef brisket flat into it as well. And now we're just gonna stir everything together. Nicey, nicey. And we're gonna let it sit here and simmer for a good three to four hours. We grilled some corn on the cobs. Yeah, oh, you wanna see some of that burn, don't you? We're gonna take our husk knife and we're just simply going to shuck the corn. Yes. 
So, here we go. Well, what's up, Gastronomarians? To a very special Wagyu chili episode. Not just Wagyu, an A5 brisket. And brisket, as we know, has the most beefy flavor. And our friend Consuela, Consuela, first of all, I want to apologize. We had to um, slaughter your uncle. And uh, it just happens to be hunting season here for uh, Wagyu cows in Indiana. And I, I took him down, you know? And it was for the greater good. How did it feel about your uncle? Was he ever a good uncle to you? You didn't like your uncle? Yeah. This chili was made with the freshest ingredients, not powdered ingredients, mind you, and Consuela's uncle, who happens to be an A5 Wagyu cow. So this bowl of chili right here is about $200 to $300. Are you ready to try it? Are you ready for us to try it? Do you like sour cream in your chili? And I'll tell you why. Fresh jalapeno peppers, fresh poblanos, it's got a little bit of heat to it. So this will kind of diffuse the heat. Yes? All right. Let's put a little bit of that into each of ours. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. We have some nice fresh cilantro. How about some of that? Some nice fresh cilantro for our chili. I think we should. I the nice leaves for you. And we took some corn on the cob and smoked it over charcoal. Put a little bit over here. I'll put some, a little bit over on mine. Let's stir it together and give it a shot. I bet you've never had chili like this before in your life. Now this has no beans in it. We're just going straight gastronomarian style. You ready? Let's do this. I'm gonna go for it first. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Consuela, your mouth is in your neck? What do you think? Is it the best chili you've ever had? Well, let's say a quick little prayer for your uncle. Dear Consuela's uncle, thank you so much for your life and letting us have your delicious meat uh, for our delicious dinner and for our wonderful uh, audience so you gave up for a good reason and we love you and you'll always be remembered in our hearts in our stomachs so I'd like to thank Husk the brand of knives that I've been using amazing knives I used it outdoors I use it indoors it's my new go-to knife of choice for as a kitchen knife description in below you get a nice discount by ordering from our channel as always please stick with us subscribe to us like us comment us and uh, just, we love you. Thank you so much for joining us. Consuela and I are gonna sit here and finish eating her uncle. And bye! <laughs> All right guys, I think this is a spot. This is where some of these locals were telling us they spotted some cow. And this is prime territory. So, you know what? There's some, there's some doo-doo, right? It's fresh, some fresh cow dung. I know it's been here. Yeah, by the smell of it, it's definitely prime grade. Let's look over there. Wait, wait, what's that? What's that? Do you see it? There it is. Look, look, shh, shh. Be quiet. I see it. Okay. Well, guys, no weapons here. We're doing this like a real man. Me. I don't want it to go running off.